devasya yeah so now the next interesting concept there is devasya so he has said tat savituhu varenyam because you are tataha you are savituhu you are adorable this adorable person bhargaha because he is full of jnanaanandamaya and he is devaha devasya yeah so that devaha there is significant because the word devaha has got seven different meanings there deva means not just deva or oh, some god, some god no deva means seven its etymology comes from seven different concepts divu kridayam devaha divi divu vijigishayam devaha divu vyavahare devaha divu dyuti devaha divu stuti devaha divu kanti devaha divu gati devaha so when wherever you read deva you need to think about what these things mean in that one word deva our language has actually given us so many ideas and that is why i i am I, i keep saying it's almost impossible to deliver a lecture in english about the profound philosophy of gayatri mantra because some of the words that are there has got so many meanings that we cannot actually capture in english language nevertheless an attempt has to be made to convey the beauty of the language and this is the beauty of the language with this word devaha divu kridayam krida means play and we know that this creation is a play for the supreme so it tells you about the creation divu vijigishayam vijigishayam means he is beyond and above all that exists in the universe and that is all the last five verses of chapter 15 of purushottama yoga is all about akshara akshara and purushottama talking about the purushottama who is beyond and above all divu vyavahare everything in the material universe happens because of his impulsion as i told you before satta pratiti pramiti and pravriti pravriti everything happens because of of him divu dyuti light knowledge divu stiti sarva shabda vachatva divu stuti not stiti divu stuti that means every sound is an epithet of god and that we have done from aitareya upanishad and other areas that we have discussed over the last several months divu kanti that means his 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 satya sankalpa what he wishes happens he thinks and it happens divu gati sarvagata sarvagnya so all those concepts are compressed in this particular word devaha so again vishwamitra says tat savituhu varenyam bargaha devasya this bargaha and this devasya deepai we meditate so this deva is an impo- is an interesting word and an important word because deva primarily means supreme being there are other devas that are there deities you know the demi gods or the devatas that you want to call uh, in in our vedic pantheon but primarily there is only one deva shvetashvata upanishad famous verse sixth adhyaya what does it say eko devaha sarveshu gudaha sarva vyapi sarva bhutantaratma karmaadi akshaha sarva bhutaadi vasaha sakshi cheto kevalo nirgunascha okay look at the beauty of this uh, word this particular verse is important for various schools of vedanta one school of vedanta has plucked just this word oh nirguna nirguna oh this supreme being is nirguna he is a useless empty zero with no attributes that is one school of view the other school will say guys look at all the adjectives that i have been told about this brahman ekaha devaha sarva bhuteshu gudaha sarva vyapi sarva bhutantarana karmaadi akshaha sarva bhutaadi vasaha sakshi cheta kevalo there are so many attributes that have been celebrated and then at the end nirguna stays put so what that means nirguna there means he is an abode of non material attributes okay that is the meaning of nirguna guna means material gunas he doesn't have material guna so he is called nirguna that is how another some other schools of vedanta discuss but anyway that's besides the point my main focus here is to talk about devaha and what does it says eko devaha okay there is if you take literally eko devaha means there is only one supreme being he is called devaha 
okay now i think this is important because we all talk about gayatri as veda mata we say she is veda this gayatri mantra is veda mata what is the veda mata literally means mother of all the vedas what does that mean that this is the most important verse of the vedas that we celebrate and we use it is such an important verse and what does that verse so far told us in all the verses that is there in the gayatri mantra om ashesha gunodara iti narayano apyaso bhu purno bhuvaha bhutivaraha suvaha ananta sukaha tat that which pervades pervasion is an attribute savituhu that which creates creatorship is an attribute bargaha jnananandamaya is an attribute devasya seven meanings of devasya is an attribute so this vedamata gayatri is talking about brahman as gunapurna dosha dura entity yeah and that is important from what vishwamitra is telling us and also there is another word prachodayat i'm going to come to that next prachodayat what that means it is telling us he impels things to happen that means he has action he is not an inert entity he is constantly doing things yeah all these attributes tell that this is this brahman who is gunapurna and dosha dura and not an entity at least from a vishwamitra's perspective who is inert you know attributeless doesn't do any action doesn't have any qualities just there and he himself does not know that he exists yeah so that is not what the gayatri mantra is telling us and that is what i am trying to impress upon you here hindu knowledge academy.com will celebrate vedic culture and present its philosophies to the modern hindu in an accessible format our ancient heritage is our greatest strength through preservation and dissemination together let us spread positivity in the world thank you for listening and welcome to hindu knowledge academy